वेलकम टू कुरान आया सूरतुल मुनाफिकून आया नंबर वन नहमदल रसूल करीम अम्माबाद लेट्स डू द ट्रांसलेशन फर्स्ट वेन हिपोक्रेट्स कम टू यू ओ मोहम्मद सल्लाम दे से We testify that you are messenger of Allah, and Allah knows that you are His messenger, and Allah testifies that the hypocrites are liars. So, Isa Jaaka, and then Jaaka came to you. Al Munafikuna, the hypocrites. All who they say, "Nashadu," we testify. Inna ka, indeed, that you, la Rasulu, surely the messenger, Allahu of Allah. Wallahu and Allah yalamu he knows inna ka that you la rasul surely his messenger wallahu and Allah yashhadu testifies inna indeed al munafiqina the hypocrites la kazibun surely liars then hypocrites came to you o prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they say we testify that you are the messenger of allah and allah knows that you are his messenger the testimony is not needed and allah testify that the hypocrites are liars here we see hypocrites are swearing oath to assure prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of their faith with their tongues but their testimony is not acceptable near allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is not accepted by allah why because their actions are contrary to their words their action contradict what they say what was on the tongue was not really in the heart so we need to check ourselves also sometimes sometimes when you are alone ask yourself do i really believe do i really believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is in my heart do i really believe in the day of judgment in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is a prophet because if we just say that we believe and in our heart that iman is not there then these words are useless before allah because iman must be in the heart and iman is really in the heart then you don't need to say it over and over again because just want to make sure ourselves do we have iman in our heart that is obvious by the actions and it's obvious by the ibada of a person by the commitment of a person by his behavior akhlaq it's obvious he does not need to say it again and again then we need to check that if i say that i have iman in my heart then how is my amal actions so do i act upon what i learn because iman is the name for that which consists between action heart and tongue meaning it is same throughout action heart and tongue that which is consistent between all three that is what is iman and remember the amal is part of iman and if amal is not there actions are missing then iman will also reduce and a person will fall into hypocrisy as we see over here because allah is rejecting the testimony whose hypocrites he is rejecting the statement of the munafiqun so in order to be of the people of iman it is necessary that we testify with our tongue lisan but also in the qalb in our hearts we find faith iman to be sweet we find the pleasure of faith iman in addition to amal also we observe good akhlaq because unless akhlaq is good one cannot come out of nifaq a person cannot leave hypocrisy we might perform our salah and recite lot of quran but if our behavior with our parents siblings relatives our spouse is not good then there is a big problem Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said two things will never be together in hypocrite good manners and fiqh in the religion good manners and understanding the religion these two things they are never formed together in a hypocrite so really if person knows the deen and the akhlaq is also good then yes this is an evidence of his iman this is a proof of his iman if a person has the lot of knowledge but the akhlaq is not good then what is that proof of hypocrisy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i do not think that so and so 
so knows anything of our religion meaning such a person does not understand anything about the religion and like he said that the is true person were among the hypocrites so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he described them as those who were ignorant of the religion meaning they may even have knowledge but they don't really truly understand they don't really get it hudayfa bin yaman radhiyallahu anhu and uh, remember hudayfa bin yaman radhiyallahu anhu he was that companion whom the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in form of the names of the hypocrites he said that the hypocrites of today so this was after prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away he said the hypocrites of today are worse than those of the lifetime of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because in those days they used to do evil deeds secretly but today they do such deeds openly so bad deeds sins what do they give birth to hypocrisy open sinning open disobeying allah whether it is in the form of indecent clothing or it is in the form of indecent speech deceiving other people backbiting these are all forms of hypocrisy so allah does not accept the verbal statement of such people we really need to think about this seriously honestly we have to think ourselves check ourselves where do i contradict do i say and do the same thing or does it contradict because if it's contradiction in action then there is a problem so we have to check ourselves jazakallah khairan kaseera do subscribe the channel name is il quran for all bayan two different words il is one word quran for all bayan is another word subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu